Cambridge Primary Science 6 Learner's Book 2nd Edition. This audiobook is for educational purpose to help students to study anytime, anywhere. Working like a scientist. We can work like scientists and use the five different types of scientific inquiry to find answers to different kinds of science questions. Research. Sometimes we cannot find the answer to a scientific question in a direct way, such as by doing an investigation. This might be because it is impossible or unsafe to do. Instead, we can do research to find the information we are looking for. We can use books, use the internet or watch videos. These are called secondary sources of information. We can use this type of scientific inquiry to find out about new scientific discoveries, such as how the coronavirus virus is spread, or discoveries made in the past, for example how scientists first invented batteries. To build on our knowledge of a topic, such as finding out about the respiratory systems of different vertebrates. To compare information from different sources and decide which answer is best, for example finding out how different factors can affect pulse rate, or the effects of harmful substances in food chains. To help us realize that sometimes there are questions that scientists don't yet know the answers to. For example, why does the force of gravity only pull and not push? Fair testing. In a fair test we change one factor or variable and keep all the others the same, to try to answer a scientific question. By changing only one variable, we know that no other variable will affect the results of the test. For example, if we investigate the question in Unit 2, does water temperature affect the rate of dissolving? Then, the water temperature is independent variable that we change, the time it takes the solute to dissolve is the dependent variable that we measure, the amounts of water and solute and number of times we stir the solution are the control variables that we keep the same. Observing over time. In investigations we often need to observe changes caused by things we do. How often we need to observe depends on the changes we are looking at. We can see some changes straight away, such as the formation of a gas when we mix vinegar and baking soda. If we observe what happens to our breathing rate when we exercise, we can see the change in a few minutes. Observing changes in nature can often take longer. We will need a month to observe the changes in the moon's appearance as it orbits the Earth. Identifying and classifying. Identifying is the process of naming something, for example the different types of blood vessels in the human body. We can name them because they have features we recognize, such as the thickness of the blood vessel wall. We classify objects, materials and living things in groups by observing the ways in which they are different. We can usually classify these things by asking a series of yes or no questions. For example, we can use a key to find out the type of igneous rock in a sample we have found. Pattern seeking. Pattern seeking involves observing, recording and analyzing data. The patterns we observe can help us to identify a trend or relationships between one or more things. We often find patterns in nature where we cannot easily control the variables. For example, a pattern linking mass of an object with its weight, a pattern between the time a planet takes to travel around the sun and its distance from the sun.